Hello world and welcome to the Mecca of Mastery TV. I'm your host Mecca. If it is your mission to become the greatest version of yourself in every area of life, then you are in the right place. I'm so excited about this video because in this episode we are speaking about personal development and the topic of this video is how to stick to your plans. Let's get straight into the video. I already know sticking to your plans can be the most challenging thing I, I know I know I've done it plenty of times right you make a plan before you go to bed you write it down you put it you put it in your iPhone or whatever phone that you got you put the alarms on you get a good night's sleep you eat right you drink the water you feeling good you in the right energy space You're supposed to wake up at a certain time 5 a.m. you wake up bam you get up all of a sudden you look at the end of the day out of five things you had on your list, you probably only did one or zero. Why is this, right? It's like, why can't I stick to my plans? And what happens is, when you don't stick to your plans, it make you worse off in a negative mood, right? You start to feel more negative about yourself, okay? You start to doubt yourself more because it's just like anything, success builds on success. So failure builds on failure, doubt builds on doubt, inconsistency builds on inconsistency. So the more that you miss it with yourself, you start to be like, dang, I'm going to try again tomorrow, and then it's like a worse day tomorrow, and then the next day, and the next day, and by the time you look up three weeks, and then four months, and then like a whole year, and it's like, how did I get these little bitty goals done? Like, what am I doing? Here's the thing, sticking to your plans has many phases to that before you can even just write something down and say, I'm gonna do X, Y, Z. It's so many internal things that you have to check in with first. First of all, are you in alignment, energy-wise, with what you are saying, setting out for yourself to do? I'll give you an example. I'm writing a book, right, at the moment. So, a book writer needs to focus and be engaged and have their creativity flowing when I'm typing, okay? So if I'm writing a book, I need to block out certain times that I'm gonna write my book. I need to create a certain space for myself and I need to have a schedule. But internally, I have to first view myself, see myself energetically as a writer and see myself actually writing. The reason why we don't get a lot of things done right and while you don't stick to our plans is because first of all you don't actually see it first you have to see it to believe it some people say i believe it when i see it no you have to see it to believe it so that's why i always recommend meditation meditation is so amazing because what it does is allow you to close your eyes go within yourself and visualize right you can go in and visualize put paint that picture so you're halfway done right so when you actually go into the physical world and physically start to operate and do things you're already halfway there you know what I mean it's halfway done because you saw yourself doing it it's already a part of you so when you actually sit down if I sit down and start writing the book you know the book part is already done me sitting down now it's just me physically sitting down but so when you plan out to do something you don't actually see it internally for yourself it's hard for you to just go and do it because energetically you're not in alignment with it so that's the first thing the second thing is there might be blockages within you right things that come up that's not associated right or let me take that back there might be things that's coming up that's associated with your planning for yourself and you might not be feeling deserving or in alignment with it it goes back to alignment let me give you an example of what I mean by this so you say to yourself okay I have a plan today to go out and I'm gonna sit at the coffee shop and I'm gonna call some creditors and I'm gonna pay XYZ um, debt payments so when you sit down and you want to make these debt payments and you keep figuring out why haven't I paid this debt and I got the money because sometimes there might be something that's in you that have a negative relationship with money right to the point that you don't want to let it go so you know you need to pay the debt and you know you need to clear the debt so you can increase the credit score and it affect other things in your life but because you feel like maybe if I let this money go I won't get more money and that in itself can be stopping you from actually doing something as simple as calling creditors and putting a little money towards some debt. 
So you also have to check what things that's inside of you that has not been addressed. So the blockages, invisible chains that's actually inside of you that has not been addressed, that is actually stopping you from doing external things. That's the second thing. Third thing is boundaries. Sometimes we don't stick to our plans because we don't even have boundaries. Anybody come. Tom, Joe, Mary, Sam, the rain, everything, right? You got to have boundaries for yourself, right? When I wake up in the morning, my phone is on airplane mode when I go to sleep, okay? When I go to sleep, I put my phone on airplane mode. When I wake up, I have a whole hour and 15 minutes where I do a morning ritual and my phone is on airplane mode. That is my boundary, okay? And if anybody else is in my space or in my house at that time, they know. And if they don't know, they will know. Do not bother me. When I wake up and you see me make my cup of tea, because I go straight up, take my vitamins, drink my water, let the sun meet my forehead, okay? Go make me a cup of tea, sit down, light my sage and my insect, grab my crystals, meditate for 20 minutes, go straight into my journaling, writing out my goals, read for 10, 15 minutes, practice my Spanish and do some stretching. That's an hour and 15 minutes for me. That is a boundary that I set and I've been doing that for the past eight years eight years, right? Can't do it. So when I'm doing my work, I black out four hours at a coffee shop, phone is on do not disturb, face down in my bag. I have a whole nother device that is for alarms when I switch to tasks. Boundaries, right? Dating, do not call me after a certain time. Boundaries, do not pull up on me. Boundaries, okay? Boundaries for myself. Make sure I pack my snacks and my meals. You have to even put boundaries in your, for yourself so you can actually stay on track with your plans. So you have to actually put those things in there. Number four, right? And this is kind of go towards the last one, which is boundaries. But this is curving distractions. What are you doing to actually curve the distractions? Use that phone that you got. Everybody have a smartphone. Use that phone, right? First of all, write down what you need to do. Because if you don't have a clear plan of what you need to do and why you need to do it, right? Because sometimes you can't stick to your goals or stick to a plan because you don't even know why you want to do it. The why of something is what give you the juice, baby. It give you the life. That's the juice of why you're going to do something, why you need to be doing it. So sometimes I get up and I'm like, oh man, 5 a.m. gym session. Like, do I really want to do this? Like 5 a.m.? Like, am I really that crazy? 5 a.m. gym session? Seriously, Mecca? But then I think about it, I'm like... Why do I want to go to the gym? I want to feel healthy. I want to be vibrant. I want to feel good in my body. Oh, baby, I got a photo shoot coming up. I'm going on vacation to Bali. I want to be snatched in that swimsuit. You feel me, right? Many reasons why. Oh, I'm about to get up and go to the gym. But if your why is not strong enough and it, if it does not come from a deeper space of you, you won't do it and you won't stick to it. So that that's that's like a bonus right there because that kind of curve distractions but knowing your why helps you curve distractions alarms planning it okay and having those boundaries set in place for yourself and here's the next one the fifth one you just gotta go for it you just gotta keep going don't feel like it feel like it you know you need to get it done you just gotta do it your body hurting your brain trying to protect you you just gotta do it because the more you do something success builds on success consistency is the key you just have to go for it and eventually the more you go for it the better you like yourself and you begin to trust yourself more and things that will be like you won't even think about it like it's times that i don't even have to think about my morning ritual anymore i used to have to plan my morning ritual i don't have to think about it it's like automatic pilot to me like breathing air, like drinking water or using the restroom or taking a shower or brushing my teeth, I, I'm automatically gonna do it. As Soon as I get up, bam, water, vitamins, go make tea, sit down, boom. You know, read, meditate, all of that. It's like autopilot. So once you do that for a certain amount of time and I give you 21 days, right? Once you do that, give yourself a 21 day challenge to do that. And while you give yourself a 21 day challenge, I highly recommend my 21 day healing plan. Because before you get into planning things for yourself, right? And figuring out what it is that you want to do and really carrying out a great plan for yourself. Sometimes there's some things that need to be healed. There's some invisible chains that's blocking you, like I said it before. So my 21 day healing plan is a great and it's phenomenal to do this, right? It's only an hour a day that you block out for 21 days. You go within yourself is mostly journal work and a little bit of like visualization things it's so phenomenal it's on sale at the moment just go ahead and click the link in the description box below 
And I hope you love this video and you share this with somebody you care about because we always say here at Mecca Mastery TV that Shang is caring. I'm doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, so if you want a coaching session with me, just email me at meccabookings at gmail.com or you can just email me to say hello or for advice. Also, my ladies, look, get your chakras aligned. Remove those negative sexual energies from your womb. Become in tune with yourself, your feminine energy, okay? I want you to go ahead and purchase your Yoni Steam Herbs today. They are on sale at the moment. You can just click the link in the description box below. And listen, let me tell you something. No matter what we go through, where we at in our lives, we always need healing. Some of the reasons why we don't get to what we want in life, we don't get to that space, we don't align with that energy of our true source and our true nature is because we have so many unhealed wounds. My 21 day healing plan is so perfect for this, right? This 21 days is phenomenal, will transform your life. Block out one hour a day, dive into the 21 day healing plan. To learn more information about that, you can click the link in the description box below or email me at meccabookings.com. And I have protection kits available. Protect your energy, protect your space, protect your aura, remove negative energies. There's some full moon rituals coming up. There's some, some new moons that's coming up so you can set new intentions. And I have in stock at the moment, we have our protection kits. So make sure you get yours today. Click the link in the description box below or email us at meccabookings.com bookings at gmail.com i'm sending my love my light my peace my gratitude peace tranquility love good vibes all of that your way until next time i see you in the next episode with peace and love Mwah. <laughs>